Howdy folks, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen, it's Barry here. Let me introduce you to the one and only burger. This is absolutely sensational. It's a burger and I did not come up with the idea. It's called the one and only burger for a reason. Check this out. All right, Barry, how's it going? Listen, I need you to make a burger for me, all right? The one and only burger. See what I did there? Um, I'm thinking, obviously, burger homemade, uh, organic beef, it's got to be, uh, lettuce, tomato, onions, raw onions, ketchup, mayo, mustard and avocado. All right, make it so, son. Mm-hmm, pretty darn cool, right? So when Chesney Hawks, I am the one and only, um, asks you to do something, you pretty much do it right, and this is what we come up with. It looks absolutely sensational, and trust me, it tastes amazing. Uh, my fellow YouTubers and good friends, Sorted Food, have got a hashtag Beat My Burger uh, competition thing going on at the moment, so this was going to get involved in that. I'll put some full information in the description down below, but what a fantastic burger. If you want to have a go at making this, uh, Chesney's already listed the ingredients for you, like verbally, but here they are uh, in text. This is how you do it and I hope you do do it it's really good so we'll start off by making our burger patties first of all uh, the first step I actually did was take off my wedding ring because when I'm mixing later on really don't want to lose it in there and then we bite your burger <coughs> yeah wedding ring burger not cool so anyhow we've got some organic beef uh, as Chesney asked for and normally I would add chopped onions and fresh herbs in there with it but I just added some simple seasoning today so I went for a good old grinding of pepper in there and then I got some parsley and lemon seasoning so it's completely optional if you've got a favorite other seasoning a little bit of that in there and one other bonus thing now this is called molden salt you might see the normal stuff I get is quite flaky now this is a smoked salt okay so in this jar I've got it stored there you'll see it there I sprinkled some of that in there and it really gave it a nice smoky edge so get it all in there mix it really well with your hands and then start to make patty shapes with your patty shapes done of course you can make small burgers you make big burgers little meatballs whatever you want put them on a baking tray line it with some greaseproof paper lay it on top extra greaseproof paper and then whack it in the fridge just to chill for a little bit it just helps to firm it up and it hold its shape when you cook it when the burgers are in the fridge chilling it's a good time to prep the rest of your ingredients but if you've already done that like i did you can sort of chill just like the burgers this is like my uh, chilling face yeah uh, kind of like that uh, so once you're ready to take your burgers out of the fridge to be a little bit cooler a little bit firmer whack them down on the side remove that top layer of the baking parchment and just give it a good old brush in olive oil just get it nice and coated it'll really help warm it up and it's time to get a griddle pan nice and hot now depending on the thickness of your burger if you made big old fat ones it's going to take a long time to cook through so you might want to start the griddle pan a low heat and build it up and then flip them through once you're ready so I cook mine for roughly four minutes either side and rest of them on kitchen paper and then it was time to build the one and only burger good times to build my burger I simply grabbed the base of my bun squished on some ketchup and smothered it round with a spoon uh, sprinkled on some chopped lettuce got it nice and spread out there shoved down my big old cooked patty smelled amazing as it was just like that some mayonnaise on top again working that through a good sprinkle of chopped raw onions as specified a slice of tomato a drizzle of mustard laying down some avocado strips and finally topping it and if that is not the one and only burger I don't really know. What is the one and only? I don't know where I'm going with this. Doesn't that look amazing? Chesney, you're a legend for coming up with this recipe. I can't wait to eat it right now. Although I've already eaten the other one that I made. Yeah. And here it is then, folks, in all its might. I'm just literally going to go into it right now. I'm going to go, ah. Mm. Shiver me timbers, guys. It is absolutely stonking. Some of you said I didn't say stonking in the last video. It is so, so good. There's so many layers and textures and flavours working its way through it. And I actually really like that cheeky avocado on there. Not really done much with avocado in the past. Chesney, you my friend are a legend for requesting this. Guys, I really hope you give this a go and get involved in Beat My Burger, hashtag Beat My Burger, all that stuff. Check it out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe and comment. Mm. I'll see you again next time. Good, good times.